my channel I'm Sonia if you're new here um, so you may see I'm actually currently um, in my bedroom as you can see wardrobe um, I'm trying out different places to film I know um, there's not much going on behind me because we haven't yet decorated this room um, unfortunately when I film it's usually um, mid afternoon um i do have a workspace but the lighting in there at that point of the day um isn't very good so i haven't been able to film in there um and in my lounge which is looking all nice um unfortunately i can't film in there because we are on a main road so all you can hear is cars go by so um, at the moment i'm filming in the bedroom it would be really really nice if i could get this place decorated um so it can look a little bit better it's currently just blue i've got a wardrobe there so it's a little bit boring so apologies for that um so yeah on to the video today um this is something new having ever done anything like this before um obviously usually i do hauls and crafts etc etc but um as you were seeing the title i bought a praying mantis um i have been umming and ahhing about it for quite some time um i didn't know whether to get one um and somebody at my workplace um, mentioned about it. Um, originally, I wanted to get a gecko, but I just think because I've already got turtles, um, I don't think I could realistically fit um, a gecko anywhere. So I got something really, really small, um, and you know they're quite easy to look after, really. Um, so yeah just a quick disclaimer um i am not a praying mantis expert i'm not here to tell you how to look after a praying mantis um i'm here just to do a video about my new um little insect slash pet um which i bought um i absolutely love her um so yeah just a quick disclaimer i'm not a praying mantis expert please go and seek um proper um expertise on praying mantis experts basically i don't know what you want to call them but um yeah so on to the video um i purchased mine from the cheeky mantis um so i got their card here it's called the cheeky mantis and i have to say if you are a beginner like me i would definitely get my words out i would definitely definitely <laughs> I would definitely recommend these because they basically give you all the information you need to know. They're very, very helpful through their Instagram page. Um, their site basically gives you all the information about the feeding, the watering, the enclosure, the heating, um, all the different types of mantises you can get. I got a beginner species, which obviously I shall go through with you in a minute. So yeah, I would definitely, definitely recommend um, getting one from there um she did arrive in the post um they will organize with you a day you will be in for her to arrive um and that's very very easy to organize as well um so yeah let me show you my praying mantis you like the little clips of my praying mantis um i did a little i did clips beforehand because i didn't want to keep picking her up in the enclosure and um, that's not gonna be very nice for her um so yeah that will be being Edna. i called her Edna because i thought she looked like an Edna. um so she is a Af african mantis don't ask me how to pronounce this i'm just going to show you what species she is So she is um, a perfect beginner species. Um, oh, I'm faded. There we go. I'm back again. So I'm just going to go through what I've bought for her, what I've been feeding her, um, how I've been watering her. Um, I've basically just gone off all the information where I got the mantis from because I just, I've just found it really, really helpful. Um, so yeah, let's just start off with um, food. So this species can have, um, can will eat anything such as crickets, cockroaches, flies, such as curly wings, fruit flies, blue bottles, green bottles, wax worms, and wax moths. Um, 
I've done some my own personal research, um, not from my site, but just uh, from the internet. Um, I've heard mixed things about crickets and cockroaches, that it's not very good for their digestive system. Um, I don't know if that's true. Um, you know, there's been lots of um, mixed messages about it. Um, so I've kind of gone for fruit flies. Um, and she's been eating them really well, there hasn't been any problems. Um, I'll link below where I got my fruit flies from. I will not show you what they look like because if you're a bit squeamish about things like that, they are alive because mantises prefer to eat their food um, alive. Um, so what I've been doing is, um, mantises can either eat their food um, some people put them in a pot, the mantis in a pot and then their food in a pot and then they basically just catch it themselves. Um, or what i personally been doing, which I have found um, has been working, um, is that I've been putting flies on a tweezer and she's basically just been reaching out and eating them, um, which I have found just personally easier for me. Um, because the flies are alive as well, they're jumping everywhere and just I've had an issue with them jumping out the pot and I've been having to put them back in. So I just found the tweezers are a lot more easier. Um, like I said, I'm not an expert, that's just my personal opinion of how I've been doing it and it's just been working for me and Edna. Um, so um, yeah, so that's her feeding. Um, let's move on um, to her temperature so this species which i got the temperature needs, be, needs to be between 20 and 30 degrees um and, you know i'm guessing that's probably from where she's from um i do have a heat lamp however it's not on all the time um where i keep her does get quite hot in the room um however it's more colder in the evening so what i've been doing is that i've been putting a heat lamp on as and when she needs it um they don't need a, you know she doesn't need a lot of heat um so in the day she pretty much manages off um the room temperature um so yeah that's kind of uh the heating i know different species have different need i need different temperatures so some might need a heat lamp all the time some might not need any i don't know like i said i'm not an expert but that's just how i've been working with her um so another thing which i would get if you're planning on getting a mantis is one of these spray bottles so um this will help them to drink water and to also help them to molt. Um, I shall again link the website so you can find out a little bit more information about it. So I got this off the Chinky Mantis and the Chicken Mantis and um, it came when I ordered um, Edna. So um, very good essential part if, uh, of the kit, of the Mantis kit, whatever you want to call it, um, if you're planning on getting one. Um, so I'm just going to show you, show you, tell you a few little facts about Edna. Um, an adult size of her species um, can grow up to about 7 centimetres. I think it varies whether it's a female or male. Um, I've got the classic colour green, however she can come in a variety of different colours. Um, so if you get this particular mantis, they can come in classic green, to turquoise, to pale grey, um, to almost white um, and a mottled grey, um, to mottled grey to brown so they come in different sizes, different um, colours um, and the lifespan um, can live up to um, a year um, so obviously mantises do not live very long um, so um, a year long for males and a few months longer for females so she could possibly live a little bit longer um so that is you know when somebody told me they don't live very long that did upset me a little bit um but i suppose that's just is what it is um so yeah hopefully she will live as long as she possibly can um um so yeah i'm now going to show you enclosure i tried to get Edna out so i didn't keep jiggling her out a little bit but she didn't want to come out um so i'm going to show you um the enclosure uh, quickly and slowly because i don't want to frighten her um so let me just pick her up um you may see her crawling about in there um so yeah this is the enclosure i got so i got this off amazon i shall link it below um 
to be honest I didn't really know what size to get um, um, I've just gone on basically the website again um, and obviously I was a little bit worried about how big these mantises grow so I got I think this is a 12 by 12 um, it was about £16.99 I got this one because um, it has oh, a little thing poking out there um, obviously it's got the um, a hole so yeah can flow and um, it was easy to put together um it's very secure so obviously she can't get out the last thing i want is her going missing um so yeah it was 16 pound 99 um i know from what i've been reading off the site people um use such a variety of different things some people just use a plastic pot and they put mesh over so you can get the airing out um some people have used some plastic boxes which you may I mean, I don't know, there's, if you look on the site, there's so many different varieties what people have done. However, I just thought um, this one would be good. Um, so yeah, I'll link it below. Um, so inside, this mantises like to climb and hang upside down. Um, I have read and done my own research that they don't like too much in their enclosure. Um, so this little branch I got off the Cheeky Mantis as well, I um, can't remember how much it was but if you look at that site um, it shall tell you. Um, so yeah I've just kind of got something for her to hang upside down on and to climb um, and then at the bottom, I'm just going to pop this down now, at the bottom I got some cocoa fibre, I was again going to get them on the Cheeky Mantis but it ran out. So I just got this one off Amazon, um, so this is cocoa fibre, probably more than enough there, but um, anyway, so this can be used also for anything like tarantulas or geckos or all that kind of thing, any kind of reptile. Um, and then you can also put a little bit of moss, so I had some moss, uh, well my, I think my mum had some moss. Um, from her reptile she has at home so I put a little bit of that in the bottom but not too much um so yeah that's what I've got um so far for her um like I said I'm gonna do some more research I'm you know I've never owned one before I'm gonna do a little bit more research um into them so I can give her the happiest life she has um so yeah I shall link everything below where I've got everything um and yeah i would just definitely recommend the cheeky mantis to get one i do a few little more clips on her at the end of this video so you guys can see um but yeah i have absolutely loved her um she's actually been when i've been working at my desk she's been sitting next to me um just you know so i can keep an eye on her i would just definitely recommend the cheeky mantis again i should leave her website below um so yeah that's edna i shall put a few little clips um um, at the end of this video so you can see her up nice and close um so yeah like i said i'm not an expert so please 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 do your own research into owning a praying mantis and please go seek an expertise um so yeah that's the end of this video i really hoped you enjoyed um don't know what video I'm going to do next. I have a vintage haul coming up. It's a Disney vintage haul. I did some shopping on the app Vinted. And I bought loads of Disney stuff. So I'm going to do that soon. Um, so yeah, please give this video a good thumbs up. And please subscribe to this channel. Um, I shall leave my links, social media links below. And um, I shall see you soon. Bye.